tell me about the uh, the spruces. When uh, we left the weather vane in uh, after the first two years here, uh, it was Mr. Astle at Astle Hardware who said, you know, for housing, you should check with uh, Mary Jane Burnett. She's got a lot of properties here in town. And uh, we did. We contacted her. And we moved into what she referred to as the Cove, which was the Churchill Hotel uh, on Jefferson Road, number 35 or something like that, now restored beautifully by uh, Dave Mitchell and uh, down the street. And uh, we l moved in there, and it wasn't big enough, but we knew that Mary Jane also had the Spruces, which was the resident uh, hotel when you took the train up here from Boston or wherever in town. It's on the postcards and all the stuff, and it had been operating, I think, from the late... 19th century somewhere that's always iffy but there's a number of artifacts that have shown up well Mary Jane uh, took Tom and I over because we said we now the company is growing after um, the first four years of our operation and brought us over to the fabulous Hot L Spruces, as I refer to it, and went to open the front door, and it didn't quite, the, and the entire place was absolutely packed with furniture, antiques, junk, and other paraphernalia throughout, and there was a passageway from the uh, living room through to the dining room and into the kitchen, and the kitchen was stacked with uh, restaurant ware, which we're still using, uh, those plates from the floor up at the, and other stuff, and there was a narrow little corridor, and Mary Jane Brunach in her, oh, mid-late 80s then, uh, with bright red hair, turned and looked rather proudly at Tom and I and said, the Collier Brothers got nothing on me. And uh, the Collier Brothers, of course, famous in New York as the pack rats of all the newspapers and whatever. That's uh, still a story of fascination and mystery uh, 50 years later.